everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for being here thank you to all of my new subscribers all of you who have been here since day one thank you thank you for staying and and you know just being here yes it's been it's it's been a long journey for those of you who are new i've been on here for a minute teaching phlebotomy and i enjoy it so i'm going to continue to bring you guys this information these classes tips hacks all that good stuff so again welcome for those of you who are new yes thank you i get a lot of questions from you all asking about the tubes and how to learn what tests go in what tube. but first and foremost guys learn the first five basic tubes i call them the five basic because they are the tubes that you are going to see no matter where you end up as far as a specialty you are going to see these five tubes every time you draw or one of the five or two of the five you understand you're going to see blue red gold green light green and lavender you are going to see these tubes you are going to know them you're going to learn them you're going to learn them like you know the back of your hand let's say that so cliche -ish, but i was trying to come up with something else you are going to learn these five tubes and you are going to be a master at what you do blue red gold green lavender and learn them in that order and when i say learn them learn and make sure you understand that that's the order of draw for the first five basic tubes when it comes to phlebotomy if you have to draw all five of these tubes this is the order in which you're going to draw them blue red gold green lavender you might even draw your red first it's okay and we'll get to that red blue gold green lavender these two are, are kind of interchangeable so follow your policies and procedures wherever you end up but on this channel i teach blue red gold green lavender stay tuned and you will learn why but you will also learn why they are interchangeable you can get your red before your blue in circum in certain circumstances certain situations so it's not a deal breaker if you draw the red before the blue or the blue before the red so just don't get in your heads too much for that but i'm going to tell you what you need to know so that you can pass the exams with flying colors i'm not going to tell you okay you draw the blue you never draw the red because if you see it on a test and they say they give you the option for the red and not the blue i don't want you to freak out and say wait this is a trick question you don't draw either they may say none no you can draw you see what I'm saying? I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but I need you guys to understand that. Be ready, go greet, laugh. Be ready, go greet, laugh. That's that's what we need to be doing in healthcare, making patients feel comfortable, making them, you know, relax, especially lab time. No one likes to hear the doctor say, well, let me get you back here so we can get some blood drawn. What's going to matter is who's in the lab okay who's in the lab is it crystal or crystal i mean who's really about to draw these labs okay i need a nice person to draw okay so that's what the mnemonic is all about be ready go greet laugh y'all can comment down below y'all agree with that i mean come on it's healthcare, right so point to this uh, video of course is learn the five five first five basic tubes then study the additives in those five tubes just start with those five trust me because those five once you learn those five if you see an orange top you're going to know exactly where to put it you see a tiger sst top you're going to know exactly where it goes if you happen to see a dark blue you're going to know where it goes a pink top you are going to understand even if you see a pearl top purple top tube where these tubes go in the order of draw when it comes to the five basic tubes so all of these could have to be drawn on one person how do you put them in order you first learn the five basic tubes the additives in these tubes that way you'll know their family members and determining what additive is in these tubes that's where they're going to go in the order of draw with your five basics they're going to come after that lavender if it has edta in it etc etc so i've gone over this several times don't mind at all doing it again because i get so many comments questions concerns emails the whole nine so forgive me for being a little slack on the sit down pre-recorded videos 
I will be back doing those. Not going to make any promises. They'll just pop up. I might even call it pop up. How, how did we used to say? Uh, Saturday night. Yeah, that thing. Or, you know, you're just going to see me. Turn your notification bell on so that you don't miss out. That way you'll know that I've uploaded a video. Uh, sit down, you know, casual conversation, asking questions and those things. You'll also know when I go live, which I miss the lives with you all. So we may do one of those and then uh, you'll probably see this video. And you'll be like, oh, wow, she was just live and now we get this. Yes, 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 you do. So, yeah, so that's about it for this video. I am going to talk about your um, lavender top and your light blue top coming up. So, um, yeah in the next video so thumbs up if you want me to go over these because a lot of people don't know where they go as far as what department of the laboratory you send them to when you're done and that's a tricky one especially if you only have a uh, one of the departments that one of these tubes go to and a lot of facilities only have that one department so then you're left looking at the other tube like well, where do I send you or even studying phlebotomy like well where does that one go because is it really clear in the curriculums about where to send the labs or where they go and you guys want to know that as a phlebotomist that's how I learned I learned the five basics the additives in the tubes and then I paid close attention to where that blood went after I collected it what department in the lab did it go to and what did they do with the tube what's happening with the tube so many things go on behind the scenes and if you're a good phlebotomist you want to know that so that you'll know and have integrity when it comes to collecting the labs for the patient for the techs the whole nine stick with the right needles don't always stick with butterflies definitely don't always stick with those 23 gauge butterflies we'll talk about that as well so thumbs up share like comment let's come back and talk about these as well as why i say the 23 gauge butterfly is not always the best choice a lot of content to cover so i need you guys here i need you guys present like you've always been like you have continued to do and be and we are going to discuss that because you asked for it and i want to get it up because you asked for it that's what i'm here for so yes thank you guys again for being here on my channel i do not take it for granted i don't take it lightly either um, just stay tuned and for those of you who have reached out to preppy thank you so much i'm um, getting a lot of responses from the free master class thank you guys for doing that as i've said those classes start at 99 dollars a month so if you want phlebotomy if you want ma whatever it is you want check out the phlebotomy master class because not only does it tell you about phlebotomy but it tells you about other courses that preppy opens up for you as well you may be interested in so yes check that out thank you guys so much for being so supportive and i will see you all in the next video bye guys